Hey internet friends, what up? So, <laughs> this is the second time I'm doing this video because I... Well, no, this is the second time I'm doing the intro because I deleted that footage uh, from my memory card by accident and I thought I had backed it up on the cloud but I guess I didn't so I'm redoing it which is actually kind of a good thing because today gives me an opportunity to do a proper wear test. Okay so um, Jouer just launched their new Hydro, wait Hydrate, Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powders and I went on the website and I picked up two of them. I did like a whole ass Jouer haul. I didn't mean to, but like you guys know, I've been meaning to try the foundation. Um, and I got the foundation and ooh, hmm, they're probably going to have to go back to the drawing board with that one because it is a no, just no. It oxidizes gray, friends. I mean, it started off great, but... Yeah, it, no. But I did also get one of the concealers, and I do actually like the concealer, but it also oxidizes. It doesn't turn gray, but it does oxidize to a darker shade and become a skin tone concealer. But in any case, I did pick up two shades of the new Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. Um, there are six shades. There are six shades, and it is $30 each you get how much do you get all right well it doesn't say on the thing so okay you get six grams of uh product so like i said there are six shades um i got tan and i got dark i've already used these so once again this is just an intro the rest of the video is coming up with my first impressions of them um and then at the end of the video i will be back with um how my wear test went but i got the shades tan which looks like this and I got the shade dark which looks like this now in the pan tan looks like a you know a warm yellow undertone and then um, dark looks like it's neutral uh, in fact um, dark is a little bit more warm than it is in the pan and um, this is what the compact looks like beautiful enamelized pink compact beautiful um, packaging from Jouer as usual so those are the two shades that I got yeah hopefully I got everything in there um, and if there's anything else that you guys want to know um, ask in the comment sections but you know stick around because my first impressions review demo and the wear test are coming up right after the jump so stick around this is the shade um, tan and this is the shade dark so these two shades on the website are right next to each other so you can see there's a pretty huge jump in um in color between these two i'm not sure if these are supposed to be translucent powders or um they're supposed to have some kind of color to them and i and tan looks like a warm shade with a kind of a yellow undertone and this looks like a deep brown shade with a neutral undertone. So we shall see how they go. All right, so let me give you a couple of swatches. Okay, so these are like really well pressed into the pan. Um, and they seem to be more like translucent powders than anything else. Yeah, they seem to be like translucent powders, but I'm still going to um, give you a product description from the website. So this is tan. And this is dark. Alright, so let's see what they say about these powders on the website. It says a silky... It says 15% off your next order if you give us your phone number. That's what it says. Um, okay, it said a silky setting and finishing powder in six demi-matte shades to perfect and extend makeup wear, reduce shine, and blur imperfections for a... For an exquisite photo-ready real skin finish. Why we love it. Powerful ingredients nourish and hydrate skin while reducing shine, allowing your own beautiful radiance to come through. Melts onto skin, no caking or settling. Get that one swipe filtered, no makeup, makeup look and throw it in your bag for instant touch-ups all throughout the day. It says the best way to apply is to dust over face with a powder brush. It tended to be worn over foundation to create a perfect smooth finish. can also be worn alone to diffuse the appearance of imperfections. Okay, so the reason why I bought this powder is because I think I told you guys that I don't really like putting on a whole lot of makeup in the summertime. Um, and a powder is probably the best to use in the summertime. 
Um, but I don't have too many powders that I like in the summer. Uh, the one powder that I've been using for a couple of years in the summer is from Inglot. It is the perfect powder. Oh my god. It is the most beautiful powder you've ever seen in your life. My problem with it, it is about three shades too dark and it is red. It has a very, very red undertone. So I do wear it, but I wear it sparingly. Um, and I've been looking for something else that uh, works really well. The problem is most of my powders are um, for... I have most of my setting powders are for wintertime or, or they're translucent. They're not fully um, colored powders, so that is a little bit of a problem. And I have been looking for new powders. I don't necessarily like pressed powders at all, um, but I decided to give these a try because I really like Jouer and I wanted to see um, how well it worked. Now, I have never really used Jouer complexion products. I've used their eyeshadows and their lip products, but never their complexion products. Like I said, I did like the foundation, but it turned gray, so... And then I do like the concealer, but it oxidizes to skin tone. So, <laughs> I'm not sure what to expect from these powders, but what I did today was I prepped my skin the way that I would normally wear, um, wear products in the summertime. Um, I first color corrected with this, with the Maybelline Masterclass uh, Corrector in, what is the color? It is, I think it's called Apricot. Um, I corrected under my, no I didn't correct under my eyes, I corrected only around my mouth and I corrected that line of, um, that natural line of contour but only on one side because that one is the side that's more prominent. And then I used a, um, a MAC 190 foundation brush to apply this, um, what is it called? The Inglot uh, Cream Concealer in number 73. It is a skin tone concealer, mostly. Um, I really like it because it has a peach undertone, so it kind of melts into my skin, and I used a MAC 190 brush under to, to apply it around my mouth on my natural line of contour and under my eyes. And then I used a damp beauty blender to work all of it in. And this is what we have. Now, I'm not really um, sure how much coverage these have, but what I would do in the summertime is I would take a powder brush, but a more a stiff powder brush, and then I would apply it over the places that I have concealer. So I'm going to start off with the shade Tan just to see, and these are kind of powdery, so it looks like that. Um, these are a little bit powdery. And I used a white brush just so that you guys could see the color. And I'm just going to start patting it over um, my cheeks right here. Alright, so this seems to have a fair amount of color to it. Probably need a smaller brush to put it under my eyelids, but I did actually wash all of my brushes last night, so let me see how well this powder puff from Laura Mercier works. Alright, so now this is pretty much all that I would do, and then I would take a, um, I would take a, oh, sorry, once again, this is the color, this is the shade tan, that's the shade that I just used all over my face, um, and that's pretty much all that I would do um, for powder. And then I would take a bronzer and I would bronze the perimeters of my face. Now, I don't know if this is going to work well as a darkening shade to add some dimension to my face. But we're going to try. This is so weird. Like, do you see that, like, whiteness right there? I'm like, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. But... I'm just going to use this um, e.l.f., what is it called, a uh, blending brush, and that's what the shade looks like on the brush, hope you guys can see that. And I'm just going to do, okay. Alright, so there is um, a decent amount of color to these, 
definitely. Uh, yeah. So this isn't quite as um, neutral as it looks in the pan. It's actually kind of warm. A little bit reddish, in fact. And that's what we have so far. Um, so yeah, the darker colors can be used really well as bronzers, it seems like, or um, darkening shades. I think in the summertime, this shade right here might be a very good all over color for me. I think, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, it's not very, it does have a decent amount of color to it. Um, it's not as neutral as it looked in the pan, so that's good. Um, I'm just going to go back in with the tan shade and put a little bit more in the center of my face just for like some additional brightening. Alright, so this is what we have so far and I actually really like the finish. Let's just see up close what we have going on here. Um, I'm not getting any caking. There's literally no caking happening. Um, it looks really smooth in person. Not really sure what it looks like to you guys on camera, but... Um, no whitish cast so far, regardless of what it looked like in the pan. So, yeah, I kind of like what's happening here. Um, I guess the only thing to do now is, is to see how long it holds up. Jouer doesn't make any claims about um, how long it's supposed to be, uh, how long wearing it's supposed to be. And also, on the website, there is a shade matching guide. Um so that you can match the powder to your foundation, whatever foundation you wear in Jouer. So I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like really small. But yeah, if you go on the website, you'll be able to see it. But yeah, this is what we have so far. Um, I, I'm liking what's happening so far. I like the packaging. I like the little um, detail on the powder itself. But you know what? One of the reasons why I've always... Um, purchase Jouer products is because getting a package from Jouer is like really a sensorial um, experience because like everything is packaged so beautifully. The package is very simple but very kind of like classic and elegant and I, I really like everything about it. Um, unfortunately, the foundation friend, oh my god. But yeah, we're not talking about the foundation. It's about the powder right now. It is 106, 108 right now. I will be back here later on to let you know how the powder is held up and you'll see what I look like. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey beautiful people, what up and welcome back. Um, this is the wrap up for the, um, <laughs> this is the wrap up for the Jouer um, Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Finishing Powders. And if I'm keeping it 100, it's about two weeks after I did the first part of the video. Sorry. I really have not been in the mood to make videos. So like all the videos that you've seen are things that were already recorded. I just haven't been in the mood to make um, any videos for the last two weeks. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like maybe a little bit depressed or something. Or <sighs> it's not work because that's going fine. I just really truly haven't been in the mood um, to do it. So my bad y'all. However, I feel like me taking two weeks to do to do this um, actually worked out well because I've still been wearing um, the powder and so I have more thoughts on it. I'm actually wearing it right now and I have been wearing it all day over the, um, the Ilia True Serum Foundation. It is now... Hey Google, what time is it? 6.40. So yeah, so I've been out... All day long and it's now 6 40 in the afternoon in the evening almost seven o'clock and I've been running around all day I saw Avengers um, earlier today 
and I was somewhere working and I went to a couple of stores, read in and out, and it is 84 degrees outside today, I believe. And this is what my face looks like. And like I said, I I'm wearing it over the, I'm using um, tan and I'm using it over the Ilia True Serum Foundation. And I love the Ilia Foundation. You guys know that, but it doesn't do well in, in warm weather. It really, really does not. Like any little bit of exertion and it starts to get oily really quickly. And this is what my face looks like after, what, almost seven and a half hours, I want to say. Um, and I still look pretty matte. So it, it looks it looks really good over foundation. It looks really good over skin. Um, I still look remarkably matte, funny enough, uh, considering, like I said, I've been wearing it all day and I haven't been like sitting in one place. I've been running around in this foundation. It, it, it gets it gets oily. And I'm, I was really surprised that it looked so good by itself because it's not... Um, it's supposed to be just a translucent powder, but I found when I wore it with just um, concealer that when I put it on the places that I didn't put the concealer on, it built up pretty well. And you guys saw that in the beginning of the video. So it builds up really well. It lasts really well. The only issue that I had with it, and I think this is an issue with all Jouer products, is the day that I... I'm not using any setting powder now, any setting spray now, um, but... One of the days that I wore it, I did use setting spray, and it was the first and the last time that I wore the setting spray with it. <sighs> it turned gray, and it was the only time that it did that. It didn't do that before, and it didn't do that subsequently after I stopped using it. And I think that is just a problem for Jouer, where their um, products, their liquid products, or if they become liquefied, tend to turn gray. So pro tip, when you're using this powder, it's probably not a good idea to use any kind of um, very liquidy kind of setting powder, setting spray with it, um, like the Kenzo or the Caudalie one. I would use just like a regular setting spray, like the probably the Armani one or any kind of other sp setting spray. But if you like those softening setting sprays, that's going to make you really liquid and then come back together. It's probably going to turn you gray. But that's literally the only bad thing that I had to say about it. Alright guys, thank you so much for, you know, joining me for this review uh, two weeks later, but, you know, we're here. Um, if you are on the fence about getting, you know, the Jouer Hydrate and Set setting powders, I think they're pretty good. I think they're pretty nice. Um, I think the colors are probably flexible. Like, they could probably use a couple of deeper shades because, like I showed you before, um, the jump between tan and uh, dark is pretty wide. It's wide enough that I can use uh, dark to bronze the perimeters of my face. That's how dark it is. So they could probably stand to use a couple more shades, but um, I think the ones that they have right now are pretty flexible, so you should be able to... Um, you might be able to find something to fit you. I don't know. I'm, I I really I usually I usually don't say that because I really hate saying that because it's really like self-centered to say, oh, well, you should be able to find something to fit you. Not everybody's gonna find something to fit them. So I really don't like say saying that. So what I will say is I hope that you will, will be able to find a color to fit you because it's a really 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 nice powder. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining in once again for my incoherent ramblings. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as usual, it's been real, it's been fun, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!